Okay, here we go. Mystic Juicy here with some more Yomi action. I'm continuing to commentate my International Yomi League Season 4 games. This game is against Copper8642. Um, I am starting off with Onimaru because he primarily plays BBB. And I ain't got no time to be playing uh, into really bad matchups. <laughs> So we're going to start off with an opening 10, just to see if he's going to try to block one of uh, Onimaru's many, many, many defenses against range. He elects not to. We're going to try it again, see what happens. Alright, persevere, and you will be rewarded. <laughs> so apparently everyone's caught on to... Uh, Rooks playing king in after king, uh, but the Onimaru 10 after 10 strat <laughs> is still fertile for explo <laughs> exploitation. Alright. <laughs> this match was a lot of fun. Uh, Copper was feeling very, very chatty, and uh, it was nice to, uh, uh, to, to jaw a little bit. So we drew into a second J, or a second ace, which is very nice for us. Get King Throne, though. My goodness. This man. <laughs> wow, Garrett. Yeah, I, I had a ton of fun during, <laughs> during this match. Um, it's, it can be a tense matchup. It can be a tense matchup. Um, I need to get my way back out of range. Um, I do have aces, and I am not... I'm absolutely willing to play those aces defend against uh, Jack and King. I just wanted to see how willing... I want to take this first game to kind of feel out how willing he is to play different buttons. Uh, the more dodges I can block out, the happier I'm going to be. So I do get queened here. But we're still fairly even on life, only losing by 10. <laughs> figure he's probably going the the mix up here is dodge or just queen or king again so elect not to play into that dodge and rewarded decide to play in that block feel very sad <laughs> let let the robot know that i don't approve of these shenanigans Uh, 11 card BBB in that block probably signals he doesn't have any dodges left, so I'm going to play the ace uh, to hedge against king or queen. And at this point, uh, we're only down 10 health, and we've got a ton of cards. He does too, but our cards are much, much more valuable than his. So we've got the 5, the queen, and final authority jacks uh, as options. Decide to go for just a simple block. Figure he probably is going to play around some sort of guard crush attempt. Uh, my options here are to follow up with Jack Jack or just put the 8 on the table. Uh, I could decide to keep the 8 to try to punish blocking, but I think it's fairly unlikely he's going to be doing much of that with a 12 card hand. So happily we draw into some fives and he's already played his uh, uh, his jack. So we get to stuff this normal. It's not the best trade in the world. And I am actually just going to elect to trade 10 damage. Uh, 40 health is still plenty. And I don't want to go too much lower on hand size. Like having having 10 cards in hand makes my dodges so much better. And I'm just playing anti-range moves because I strongly suspect he wants to go back there. So he gets me with the jack. Widening the lead slightly. I decide not to uh, follow this up or uh, to face down here. I probably should have 
elected to, knowing that he has the queen on deck. I keep forgetting, queen is such a great card for BBB, even in neutral. Um, as a dodge punish, doesn't often get used that way, but to conserve aces, just put 15 damage on the table with queen instead. Quite helpful. We stuff this uh, three, do not need to uh, use final authority here. We get the free 20 damage. Are at 17 though. <laughs> uh, and he is at 30, so we're two throws away from killing him. Uh, but I'm not sure if he's willing to let that happen. Yeah, attack our way into a gold burst. And he's probably got lethal on deck now. We, this is still a very winnable game. Uh, two combats for me, one combat for him. Decide to play into ace-ace. Perhaps learning the wrong lesson from my matches against Rymeezy. <laughs> Gotta play the person who's in front of you rather than uh, rather than the person you wish you were facing. Uh, so he closes out game one. But that was that was very winnable. I don't feel bad about that at all. Just have to find find the rhythm. He tagged me with a couple of really good shots. Start off with a nice hand. Uh, we opened up with a fairly aggressive 10 opening in the first game. So options are kind of, uh, you know, play the 5 attack, dodge, just block, see what he does, possibly go to range. Okay, play a fairly conservative 5. Figure he was going to play counter to the way I opened last game. <laughs> no dreams for you. Only sad stompings of the robot. <laughs> oh god. Yes, just me laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> okay, nice. We stuff a king. Very happy to see that. Lots of free damage in this opening. Throw away the three because the twos are more valuable because they have blocks on them. Switch back to fives. Getting a lot of good value in this early game. Yeah, throw the six away, it's not a valuable card. Put him at sub 40. So we need fewer combos to clean this up. Go for dodge. Alright, so now he's moved on to blocking. <laughs> so we drew a 10. Uh, more likely that we're going to be able to dodge into that uh, than anything else. I'm hoping he tries to defend it with an attack. No, it just goes back to blocking. But the uh, time is definitely on our side here. I like to put the 10 out now just to see if he's going to block three times in a row. And that's when I get hit with the 6. <laughs> there I was, fat, dumb, and happy. <laughs> okay. This is fine. Not too bad of a punish. Feel reasonably well assured that I can block my way out of this. <laughs> Decide to go for immediate queen, just because I haven't been, I've been blocking very, uh, I've been playing very patient in, in the first range. And I figured he'd probably try to punish that. So now we hang on to our 30 life lead, attach single ace, so that jack actually becomes valuable as a combat win. 
That would leave him at uh, 11. If we're able to dodge into that. <laughs> we're going to go for the immediate dodge. Get around the... <laughs> Get around this goal first. Yeah, just cash it out. No, no need to be greedy or anything. Still have dodges. We've got some throws if we feel like playing those. Play the three because I figure he's probably out of twos. run right into the Joker. <laughs> Again, it's, I can I can play to lose to Ace-Ace uh, for the rest of the game and not be in too much trouble. Not sure why I went for that there. Oh yeah, I don't have lethal off the jack. Uh, so I might as well... <laughs> might as well get aces on deck. <laughs> okay, now we have... Two final authorities. We have our queen on deck. And we have the checkmate. He's used both of his uh, jokers. So we can just slam the jack down. Final authority. Nothing you can do about this. So game two goes to me. Tied up 1-1. One, one. Things definitely went... Uh, in my favor in this one. So play the king immediately. Because if you're going to checkmate, you might as well checkmate in style. So game two. Adjusted nicely. Now it's a matter of anticipating or <laughs> either maintaining course if he's not going to adjust, or adjusting as a response. So we've got both sides of the first turn mix-up, which is 10 or single ace. <laughs> Should have gone with the 10. That's okay, low risk option to reveal. The 10s are still fine as dodge follow-ups in this matchup as well. It's not like we have to chase blocks. Uh, we are going to in this instance. Just to make sure he doesn't get comfortable. In fact, he is incredibly comfortable. <laughs> Just punching. <laughs> punching my face in from a greed. So we don't actually have that many options uh, right now, but uh, it's a very, very early game. So I feel fairly safe just throwing out a block here. See how many dodges we can uh, get out of his hand for free until he decides to either queen or king us. And if he kings, I lose a six. I don't mind too much. That's a great sign for me. So I can feel absolutely safe just putting uh, just putting blocks on the table, <laughs> and we've got just we're just assembling <laughs> just like a hand of true horror, and we managed to block our way out entirely, which is awesome. We're only at a six hit point deficit, and we have just a monstrous hand. So we're going to ace our way out to make it even more horrifying. 
We'll hold on to those kings, see if we can assemble some more of those. Yeah, attach aces. Deny the perfect, the moral victory. See if I can chase a block here and find it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oop, oop. Aww. Yeah, tag a six onto there. Get some free damage. Draw all of the dodges ever. See if we can get one going here. Okay, just content to sit back and block. <laughs> Draw the fourth jack. <laughs> Side go for a rare throw here. Get punished for it, of course. So he's been pretty consistently using his blocks as baits. Gonna have to start uh, adjusting to that. Still very, very even life. Dodge, dodge is fine. I've got more dodges than he does, and I've got final authority in the late game. So my only block is a final authority. So uh, I do decide to block with it just because uh, it's more valuable for me to risk losing it and uh, hedge against dodges and blocks of his own. Now that I've got the uh, seven, I can block with that. Just getting rid of all of those dodges, building up a monstrous hand. Go looking for another ace, just in case. Having a one-speed poke um, to get out of range. I'd, I'd much rather play a single ace uh, than anything else. Yeah, nice, nice king throw there. Draw a second ace. Decide not to allow more throws uh, to find some damage. Again, we're still down just uh, just 10 health. And we have a godlike hand just waiting for, uh, for him to do something. He's gotten rid of quite a lot of dodges, so I can try to go for this, uh, this 10 attack. End up getting uh, ace-aced, but that's fine. We're down 30. That's just one uh, combat win. Actually, if we combat win with a jack, then uh, we actually take the lead. So, fine with me. We find another 10. Elect to go for the uh, raw jack with final authority backing rather than trying to dodge into it. We're going to get all the damage here. Taking him down to 26. <laughs> So we've evened it up and we've got him on his back. Can try to go for a 10 uh, cross up. And find it. Don't even need the guard crush. <laughs> Cash out that damage. Yeah, don't really care if that's a joker or not. Want to get him? Don't want to let the damage go for free. I can. I mean, I probably could have let that go uh, if I'm hitting with Jack or King, which are my realistic combat reveals. It's gonna kill anyway on the pump, so you know why give him the cards? But he's already at like ten cards anyway. It doesn't really matter all that much. 
Just go for the jack again. If we have authority, we'll play it. That is the lesson I have learned from previous games. <laughs> Second Joker. <laughs> <laughs> the key is to drive. Absolutely true. <laughs> Go for the three attempt. Get punched in the face. Headbutt right to the dome. Thankfully, we have jokers. That exact reason. So he can play all these cards. It really doesn't matter to him. He's still at nine. Uh, luckily for us, we draw some dodges. So I think it's fairly likely he's going to go for either... Oh. Okay. I thought, I thought for sure I was going to hedge against uh, King or dodge into king, uh, but I guess I wanted more, I thought it was more likely that he was just, just going to play the straight king uh, or a normal attack, so luckily I am right, close things out, two to one, game three, start with a pretty good hand, just going to open queen, Get that free damage in. Got a pair of sevens that we can power up for aces if we go to range. Pair of eights if we want to use those instead. Dodge around this three. Cash out the damage. Going to really low hand, so he's going to take us to range fairly soon. <laughs> Um, but the low hand might tempt him to play, uh, I was hoping that was going to tempt him to play more, uh, anti or, uh, range getting normals. And instead he pokes out my five. So, I basically don't have any options on this turn, really. Uh, I could play the jack, see if I can undercut anything but a two. Unfortunately I get hit with a two. <laughs> So low hand, but got a bit of a life lead. We can afford to try to block our way into a bit of a higher hand here. Could try to poke out the fairly obvious king that's coming. But blocking with a six is just too tempting, so it's fine. I'll let him get I'll let him throw me. So, same situation as last time. We don't have any, aside from the ace, we don't have any moves that are going to keep us uh, out of range. But we do defend ourselves against the queen, which is nice. Find ourselves a nine. Just going to block. Happy to go back to range here. <laughs> BBB as a uh, canonical anti-scorpion. So spends a dodge, expecting me to uppercut. Decide to pick up some aces to make the threat more real. Now I believe after powering up for aces, yeah, pick up the third one. <laughs> after powering for aces, he's thrown me pretty consistently. Uh, but happily, he does not do that this time. 
Actually, I don't think he has confirmed that he has... Oh, no, 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 sorry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's confirmed that he has a uh, king. So this is very big value for us. Just getting our way back to a big hand. Again, he's going to have more cards in hand than we do, uh, but our cards are much more valuable. It's much more important for Oni to have a high, high hand size than it is for... Uh, BBB just gets much, much more more mileage out of uh, that than Oni does. So we get dodged. Uh, I'm still in the lead, so I'm fine to take this damage. Okay, so I guess uh, I guess he doesn't have the king because uh, I would expect him to try to go for a king setup. I believe I'm going to try to ace my way out here. It's just a really cheap card. Yeah, so we find it. We've got queens, tens, fives. <laughs> Says the VVV player. <laughs> 13 card hand, fairly likely he's going to be aggressive or dodge here. So, goes counter to that and blocks. That's fine, we've got plenty more, plenty more uh, dodges that we can play. <laughs> got our 10s as dodge punishes. Uh, double check the speed of his king throw and confirm that my 8 does beat it, so I managed to option select that. <laughs> and we've got the hand to be able to pump that, but I like the cards in my hand more than... Uh, I don't want to convert them into 4 damage. Not at this life total. <laughs> I think the astute viewer will note that that is my second throw of the set and I have a 50-50 success rate on them, so... <laughs> okay, poke out a 10. We are going to pump this this time. We've got a 6 that we can throw out there. Or a king. Yeah, 6 is more valuable as our only block in hand. So we'll put them at 30. We have more than enough damage to find that. Let's see if we can get an attached ace here. We cannot. So he has pretty consistently played a punish on uh, turns after blocking. Switches it up, of course, as soon as I catch on. But he is now, I don't know, he was, he was sub-30 anyway. So if I play the queen, I do have to final authority using another final authority. Never mind, I found a 10. We're fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, we're going to use the, we're going to lead with the queen, hold on to the jack in case we can find... Um, another jack for 30 damage. I am going to uh, pump this. Not sure why I do it with the jack, really. Maybe just to make him feel safe so that it can get him with a uh, 10 attack. Probably a mistake to throw the jack out there. I've got three tens. I can pump with a 10. I think it's fairly unlikely he's going to throw me from uh, from the ground. <laughs> and that should do it. I don't believe he has the Joker. Even if he did, I would follow this up. And that's the set. So, managed to play the way I wanted to play it. Um, it's good game by, uh, by Copper. He took a, a nice game one. Um... 
but uh, I was able to either either I just adjusted a little bit and he didn't um, he didn't do a ton of blocking BBB uh, the reason the, the this matchup is so challenging for BBB is um, Onimaru has a ton of options to um, to punish attempts to go to range and um, BBB has really, really few things that he can do. Like, at, he needs his dodges at range so that he can maintain range. And uh, he needs his dodges in neutral because that's the only thing other than blocking that's going to stop final authority. Um, so, that is the reason that I play Orange Rook against BBB. 